What's going on, y'all? Hope y'all doing fantastic. I got a story I'm going to read y'all. I read this, I actually, I heard this, this story probably about somewhere around 10, 12 years ago. I was listening to an audiobook, and this story is always stuck with me. It would just pop up, then go away, pop up, go away. It came up again. So I went ahead and looked it up to see if I could find it online. So here it is. And it's the story of the Mexican fisherman. So let's get into it. An American businessman was standing at the pier of a small coastal Mexican village where a small boat with just, a, just one fisherman docked. Inside the small boat was several large yellowfin tuna. The American complimented the Mexican on the quality of his fish. Go check out how much yellowfin tuna go for per pound. See, this is how I do research and stuff like this. I read something, I stop, and I go check it out. Let me get back to the story. How long did it take you to catch them, the American asked. Only a little while, the Mexican replied. Why, do, why don't you stay out longer and catch more fish, the American asked. I have enough to support my family's immediate needs, the Mexican said. But the American then asked, what do you do with the rest of your time? The Mexican fisherman said, I sleep late, fish a little, play with my children, take a siesta with my wife, Maria, stroll into the village each evening where I sip wine and play guitar with my amigos. I have a full and busy life, senor. The American scoffed. I have a Harvard MBA and could help you. You should spend more time fishing and with the proceeds you could buy a bigger boat. And with the proceeds from the bigger boat, you could buy several boats and eventually you would have a fleet of fishing boats. Instead of selling your catch to the middleman, you would sell directly to the consumers, eventually open your own can factory. You would control the product, processing and distribution. You would then leave this small coastal fishing village and move to Mexico City, then LA, and eventually New York City where you will run where you will run your expanding enterprise. The Mexican fisher, fisherman asked, but senor, how long would this take? To which the American replied, eh, 15 to 20 years. But then what, senor? The American laughed and said, this, that's the best part. When the time is right, you will announce an IPO and sell your company stock to the public and become very rich. You would make millions. Millions, senor? Then what? The American said slowly, then you would retire, move to a small coastal fishing village where you would sleep late, fish a little, play with your kids. The other guy said children, but this guy says kids. There's a difference. Take a siesta with your wife, stroll to the village in the evening where you could sip wine and play your guitar with your amigos.